So I just picked up a TJ, fairly cheap. Uh, I'm not really a Wrangler kind of guy. I kind of like the uh, roominess and air conditioning of uh, and the dry environment of the XJ, but got a good deal. Couldn't pass it up. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna work on it. It's got the 2.54 liter in it. I have no experience with the 2.5. It needs a water pump in it. It's leaking from uh, it's leaking from somewhere in the water pump area, so I'm assuming it's a water pump. So I'm going to take it off and uh, look, see what we got. And if I take the water pump off, I might as well put a new one on because they're fairly cheap. Uh, it looks like it takes the same water pump as the 4.0, which is great because now I've got a plethora of parts. Uh, I can change the thermostat while I have it all off, flush the cooling system out. Nothing makes the neighbor break out the lawnmower like trying to film. <laughs> the key to taking the cooling system apart is... The fan's got to come off first. And if this fan clutch feels pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it on. Uh, one thing I like about the, uh, the 2.5 is the motor's here. And the radiator's way over there. There's no way this motor's going to contact that radiator. Like in the 4.0. On the XJ where the fan shroud's like right here. And if your motor mounts give out, you're, you're eating radiator. Uh, the trick to getting this thing off is with 13 millimeter ratchet wrench and a screwdriver. And uh, let's enough talk. Let's do it. So you got the screwdriver kind of wedged in between the uh, post and the bolt, and you just push on the other wrench there. It's hard to do with two hands. So you just push that down, push the wrench down while pushing the screwdriver the other opposite way. All right, now it's time to loosen up the water pump or the power steering pump. Move that, take that belt off. So, power steering pump. There's an idler pull. You want to loosen this middle bolt up. And you don't have to take that bolt out. You just loosen it up. Nut right here. There's loose the tension. So you just want to loosen that. Good thing about these. You get these extensions with a 45 or a cut on it. And you put it on and you put the socket on all the way and it's tight and straight. Push it up a notch and it's got a little bit of wiggle. Remove the upper radiator hose. Pull up and set the power steering reservoir aside. Remove the overflow tank. The shroud is held in with four sheet metal screws. Right angle screwdriver uh, made short work of it. It's such coarse threads, you only turn it a few turns and it comes out. trick to getting that bottom fan shroud bolt off is the extension with the wobble on it. That, it put it, it gave you enough room to spin it to where it came right out. Easy peasy. And look at all that room you got to work on the front of that motor with. And uh, a little grime on the valve cover. It's not looking too bad. A whole lot of grime on the uh, timing cover. This thing had an oil leak at one time, or maybe still does. We'll get to the bottom of that. We're going to cover all that crud off. All right, so this pulley just comes off like so. And once it's off, yeah, you can see the water pump's dripping. That's good news. Dripping for quite a while, being that that bolt is rusted. Fifteen millimeter on the uh, power steering. Poor design, but you know it's what Jeep does. I've had I've seen harder water pumps to change. Remove the three power steering pump bolts. It uses a thirteen millimeter deep socket or a short extension on thirteen millimeter. Okay, here's a trick: uh, make a crude 
picture of your water pump and make punch holes so you put the bolts because they're different sizes and if you get them mixed up there's a way to figure it out short bolts go through the small sides the big bolt goes through the one that has that's long makes sense right all right so to get these studs off just double nut it that's what she said and you might be tempted to put something in here to hold it from spinning do not, don't do it put it in there we're throwing this water pump out anyhow so we don't care if we screw it up so we just stick a screwdriver in there put the wrench on here and see that stud comes right out I already cracked it loose it was really easy and you just take it out so on this water pump I just used a big old crescent wrench three-quarter almost fits on it I would um, if you have a 20 millimeter wrench that might work but I don't so I just used a big old crescent wrench the hard part is holding the pump tight while removing the tube yeah. Fuck you, pump. clean the threads thread sealant I think that's close. We might have to fine tune it when we get it on there. Clean the block surface with a razor or a wire brush or some type of a scrubby thing. Try not to scratch or gouge the surface. All right, so water pump, gasket, only fits one way. I always use a little Permatex Ultra Gray. I put just a slight light coat on the gasket side I smear it around with just a real thin film that helps that helps glue the gasket in place so it doesn't slide around all right so this idler pillow has got to come out it's a lot easier than trying to take that off fucking jeep all right Torque is 14 pounds. That's a good place to start. You might want to tweak it a little bit more if it drips. Little anises will help that bolt help to come out easy the next time. Don't forget to clean up the thermostat housing. A lot of people don't know on this garden hose, these cheap ones, how they're threaded on the end. So you can fit another garden hose on it. I just use this brass fitting that fits perfect in a heater hose core. Open it up all the way. Got a little pressure gun. I'm going to call the heater core and the radiator clean. Uh, the block I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to let it set. Day two. This surface feels smooth, but I don't know. It's got quite a few imperfections. Got a little bit of RTV there. So I'm going to put uh, some red RTV on this to help seal it because I don't want to have to take it off and do it again. That's probably way more than I need. Felpro 35024. All right, gonna let that tack up for a few minutes. Follow my channel, you know by now that I forget to install the thermostat about 90% of the time. I didn't notice it on this one until I was editing the video. Torque is 14 pounds. That's a good place to start. You might wanna tweak it a little bit more if it drips. 
Don't know the belt routing? Well, here it is. If you don't have AC, no problem. Tighten the belt tension, lock it down. I put the pulley on with a couple of washers and two bolts or two nuts to hold it in place. So while I test the engine to see if it leaks. I filled the radiator with uh, distilled water to test it out. I didn't want to waste uh, precious antifreeze if it leaks and I have to undo everything. I'll just pull the lower radiator hose off later, drain the radiator, and uh, put in some cooling. It took two gallons of water, by the way. So when you get the fan shroud loosely in, you can put the, to lay the fan down in there. You don't have to bolt it up. I'm going to try to maneuver it into place. There you have it, uh, TJ water pump, pretty easy to install. Cheap and easy to do. If, you if you're having a cooling problem, you suspect a water pump, go ahead and change it. If you don't know how old it is, go ahead and change it. It's easy to change, cheap to do. All right, you got some time to kill. Check out my podcast, 10 Minute Off Road Podcast. It's a podcast for the off road short attention span. There'll be a card for it up here somewhere. Got some more time to kill. Check out one of these fine videos that'll either be here. Yeah, I'll probably be there. And then, then check out that one. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.